Hello everybody, here we are going to interface 1602 LCD with PEG 16F 877A microcontroller. So this is our LCD. I have soldered the pinout points to a Berg strip so that I can directly insert it on a development board. So our objective is to display visit alert.com for tutorials on the LCD module. So before we begin, we will look on the <coughs> data sheet of TZ1602A. So here you can see this is the ground VSS power supply. This is for adjusting the display. Uh, we will come to it later. This is a register select, control register for data register. This is read bar write. This is for enabling. And this uh, 8, 8 pin input is for a bus input DB02, DB7. This is for the backlight DD plus LED minus. Here it is in much more detail it is given. So these are the interface pin functions. So this is 0 volt ground uh, plus 5 volt adjusting supply voltage for LCD driving. This is a register select. 1 is for data register. 0 is for instruction register. This is a read bar write. High is read. Low is write. And this is for enable signal for writing or reading data. This is the 8 bit bidirectional data bus. This is the power supply for backlight. 0 volt for the backlight ground. So these pin numbers will be printed on the back side of the LCD module. So this is how we connect with the microcontroller unit. We will connect the 8 bits, uh, 8 ports to the LCD module for the data. Then another 3, 4 register select, read, write, enable. And uh, this is CC is the power supply. So uh, we are given plus 5 to VDD input and we are using a potentiometer. Uh, here it is shown 20 to 50k. 1k is uh, sufficient. And this is ground. So this is the command table. So when you when you start your program, you should first clear the display. So this is the instruction. Then this is for instruction for returning home. This is for entry mode set. Display on off control. Cursor or display set. Function set. CG RAM character generator RAM address DD RAM address display data RAM then this is read busy flag and address count write data to RAM read data from RAM we will discuss the use of the command table when we start our this program is the circuit diagram based on which uh, we have designed this LCD interfacing so as usual I have given us 20 megahertz crystal I have given this memory clear to power supply and I have added a 1k port over here. So the 1k port is connected to uh, plus 5 volt ground and the output of the port is to the this LCD driver that is VE port. So and this RB0 to RB7 this 8 ports I have connected directly to the 8 ports of the L LCD D0 to D7 and I have taken another 3 pins that is RC0 I have connected to the register select then RC1 I have connected to the read write pin and then RC2 I have connected to the enable pin so I start up the MP Lab X IDE environment so this is I've defined the frequency I've defined it as 20 megahertz and I have given the configuration bit. I have given it as high speed oscillator. Watchdog timer and power up timer is off. Brownout reset is on. Low voltage programming. Code protection bit. Flash program memory write bit. And this code protection bit is all off. Now I have given my header files. XE.h, delays.h, string.h. And as I told you, I have, I have defined a preprocessors. This RZ0. RZ0, this is for register select. I have defined RS as the preprocessor. Then RW is another preprocessor. This is, stands for read write. And this is port, port C bits dot RC1. And this is enabled. This is again port C bits dot RC. Our program is based, based upon this flowchart. This flowchart we get from the data sheet. So the flowchart is showing this is power on sequence. So it is asking you to wait for a time period of 40 milliseconds. This timing values will be different for different manufacturers. So to be on the safe side, you can take 
little larger value than from what is shown over here so based on this flowchart we will start our coding we have defined a two sub functions over here one is this enable sub function and the another one is this init lcd for initializing the lcd before describing this enable function you have to keep in your mind that when we are going to write some data onto the lcd first we have to select the register which we are going to write whether it is instruction register or whether it is data register after selecting the register that you are going to write you have to set up the data on the data bus so you have to give the value then you have to wait the setup time to be complete that setup time also you will get from the data sheet so after you wait for the setup time to be completed you give a high pulse on the enable pin so when you give the high pulse on the enable pin then only the data will be written into the lcd or if it is a read operation on after the completion of the enable sequence only the data will be available on the data bus for carrying out that function only i have written this enable sub function our second sub function is init lcd that is for initializing the lcd so here i have taken this port c as an output port b is also an output port b and port c initial values are given it as 0 and this is rs is equal to 0 that is the register i have selected it as the instruction register and this is rw equal to 0 that is it is going to be a write operation this is a delay of 40 millisecond say so after power up you are giving as per the data sheet this is the function set this is the function set so this we get from the command table so this is the function set so the function set this is 8 bit dl is 8 bit so this is what i have given 0, 0, 1, 1. as per the as per the flowchart i have given this is function set i have given it as for 8 bit then i have given this is number of lines as two two lines and the font of 5 to 10 dots and then i have waited this delay I have given the enable sequence to write to the data into the LCD. Then I have switched off the switched off the display. Then I have cleared the display and I have set the entry mode. The data sheet flowchart. So we have done all this according to the data. This is the last command in our init LCD that is set display cursor blinking. So this command I have given it. The cursor will come to this position. That is line one position one the cursor will come and blink so now we are coming to our main program so this string to be displayed that is visitlet.com for tutorials i have assigned to this display variable using a pointer here i am calling the initialization of lcd function and this is int j equal to zero this value we are using it keeping a count of the position on the lcd and here I have given as rw equal to 0 that I have given, I have given that it is going to be a write function. So here the delay is 100 microsecond I have given. So here our whole thing starts while of 1. So here inside this while of j not equal to 0 x 2 0. So you know we are having a 16 0 to LCD. So that is 16 characters into 2 lines. So that is totally 32 numbers. So this position counter is to keep a tab on the position that after it exceeds the value 32 it is again going to be reset to position 0 or the first character position so here i have given it rs equal to 1 rs equal to 1 i have register select equal to 1 so i have given, enabled the data run so that is data register is enabled and port b equal to display of j initially j value is 0 so first it will display of 0 that is this v as key value of v will be assigned to port b then you will enable it give a delay of 100 mic 100 microsecond then you increment the value of j so after j j plus plus the j value will become 1 so and when the j value becomes uh, uh, 16 16 that is a decimal value of 16 hexadecimal value is 0x10 so when it reaches the end of first line so the, when it reaches the end of the first line j will be 16 so when j is equal to 16 uh, you will write in the instruction register that the next line has to start from the position z0 z0 is the address of the ddram address of the line to first position so when we reach 16 we said that this is line to first position 
if you don't do this this will overwrite again on the first line first position if you give this it will after 16 positions it will come to the second line first position and this whole function will be executed while of j not equal to 20 will be executed till you complete the 32 characters so when you complete the 32 characters you give a time delay of 1 million one second and after that again you take go for the control register in the control register you write uh, the command for return home that is the cursor will come back to the position position 1 of the first line and uh, we write that data and again the whole process is repeated now we compile our function so I click on this to make this hex file so this hex file I will burn into my controller We are going to connect the LCD to a development board. So the, the development board is having pins to connect the LCD. We will give the data bus. When you power it up, this black dots should come up, or else you should adjust the port. This is the port B, port A, port C on my development board, and this is the PIC 16F 877A. So after wiring up and powering up, when you press reset, this is what we are getting. So we are able to.